big data projects can be accomplished in two to three months, and I'll give you an example. We had a content provider client that wanted to know more about the effectiveness of placement of their content within web storefronts and what was driving customer behaviors to go view that content and purchase that content. We were able to do that analysis using big data and analytics um, to show what customer behavior was, what preferences there were, and where that placement could drive more customers to make purchases. In addition to that uh, finding, um, um, the answer that we came back with begat more questions and that spawned a couple of other initiatives within the company. We had a client in the communications industry that has the ability to um, distinguish viewing patterns um, of their uh, customers and what they wanted to do was track uh, what's called pathing and following customers as they go from channel to channel to understand how do I optimize my advertising um, by making sure that the right segments um, get hit with those messages. The complexity of trying to figure out the behavior of all of my customers quantified by all of the channels and content that I offer um, becomes a little bit mind-boggling. But if you plot that into some sort of visual representation, a neural net, if you will, uh, which shows the connection points, so the highest probability connection points between, say, news channels and lifestyle channels, you start to understand and appreciate um, the demographics, where they go, and how do I target my advertising to reach those people more effectively. Uh, there are a lot of new ways in companies are using uh, the so-called big data technology and new sources of data. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, this is a beverage company, very large beverage company, and traditionally what they had done in terms of stocking up supplies uh, with the uh, retailers was essentially looking at what was the past demand, and uh, based on the past demand, they would essentially stock up the shelf. Of course, they'll adjust it for seasonal variations, uh, summer, winter, and, and different days, so they would do that. So that's the way they were stocking up. And the issue was they had a substantial stockout problem. In other words, uh, when a person comes, comes to the store, they can't find the specific brand of beverage that they wanted. So they might have the overall brand, but they may not have a light version, or they may not have the right flavor. So they're always running into stockout. And they did an exercise to find out what their stockout was, and it was a substantial number. So what this particular organization did, and they came to us, and uh, they had a number of people with internally who were crunching through a lot of algorithms to find the, the right optimal uh, solution for stocking, but none of that had actually included uh, interesting data from the external world, in fact, real-time data, real-time data about are there, is there a football match happening uh, in the vicinity of where these uh, uh, retailers are? Uh, what is the temperature on a particular given day when that football match was happening? Taking into consideration all of those uh, leads to a, a substantial variations in how you want to stock up various retailers. And also they were able to do that in a way that was able to combine that information, but also disseminate the information in a way that a normal person, a retailer in a, in a mom and pop shop could actually use that data. So, they were, so we helped them bring in data literally on a, a smartphone and very simple ways of telling them how much they should be stocking and how much they should be uh, and how often they should be stocking. And this is, this is something which we call intelligence at the moment. In other words, there's no point in having all this, the fantastic analytics happen in the head office uh, where you're generating those insights. They're not that useful if it doesn't make its way on the shop floor, as in this particular instance at the retailer. And the retailers are not statistical PhDs, uh, so you need to tell them in a way that they can understand and they can input the value. So that's what we were able to do. Mm -hmm.